Here at Tower, inside, Mr. Dory has some worries with the way he's running this place. To succeed, choose a good partner. They have found a walkie, here in as well, and here another. They bring her to the roof, get her on the wall, and throw her. Bring another down, another one. He is practicing to impress Victor and wants to replace Howard. He needs him. He's scared since after Morgan tried to poison him, he thinks there is a resistance working in the tower. She has radiation burns since the exposure level was too high. She can only give her comfort. He can reach Strand with a good chance. Victor might change him instead. John died the same way while trying to change Virginia. A ranger is here and has found another walkie in Howard's room. He has got this right opportunity. She moves for Charlie. He gets here to him, gets to him, and says he has some worries related to how he's running this place. It's raining heavy, and they are gonna throw Howard due to that walkie. He might have done it due to his son and wife. Howard is out of his trusted people's list. He says someone has trapped him. He doesn't believe him without evidence, and Mr. Dory will bring it. There is a ranger on the radio and reports a problem that the baby has gone. Howard will find it. He wants a chance to prove that he's hiding nothing. He has time till sunrise, otherwise he will throw him off the roof. He leaves. He wants him to find the baby, since he doesn't trust Howard anymore. He has seen John making a raft to reach June. He thinks he can do a lot for the tower. Victor calls this tower his legacy. He says it might end as well when doing wrong for a good reason. It has horrible results. He leaves. He investigates Nanny, June, Grace, Wendell, and Wes. They did it because she wants her to grow outside, is angry for Allie. It's about keeping the baby safe. He is doubting her. They both want the same things, and that is only possible when they remove Strand out of their way. Morgan and others will not do anything unless the baby is in this tower, and Strand knows it. She didn't say she will take her out. He want to know and might help. She wants him to distract Howard, and she will do the rest. She leaves. He sees her footprints and knows. He is in here with him and seeing his collection. Both have to find the baby. He sees his boots. He believes Howard, but has to investigate him like the others as well. He doesn't want to drink. He doesn't know a lot about him like he is a family man, since he never saw humanity or emotions in him. These are his family. He doesn't know about them. His wife had left him along with their son long before the apocalypse. In 1836, William Barrett Travis, on the second day of the Siege of Alamo, wrote a letter for reinforcements and signed it, Victory or Death. This letter is one of the most important things in the history of Texas. It has an addendum along with it, which he personally discovered, and he became famous in the historical community. He used to travel everywhere to lecture, leaving his family for months away. He had forged it, and the papers were notorious in him. One day he came home, his wife with packed bags, and had to say he's only interested in making history rather than making their life. But this place, he has made history. If they came here, they will see it. Rangers are here after covering an eight kilometers radius and the baby is not found and the storm is going high. They will search inside again and he leaves. Those people he has thrown off the roof, if his family finds him due to his family, it was for good, otherwise all for in vain. Here June is stuck before the undead and John is here due to her boots and the baby is here. He checks her. She has protection gear. He sees the undead, Tunneling is being filled up with water. There is a water flood here and she gets stuck, and the undead are all in. He tries to kill, loses the gun, takes her along and takes cover, and he takes the baby out. They need to get to the elevator since he is going to strengthen his legacy, and she will help. She thought he was here to help her. He sings for her, climb up on my knee, sonny boy. John used to love this song, he keeps her in. He want to do that for her, that he couldn't do for John. She has a child as well. Strand will never listen to him. That walkie he had kept was to remove Howard from the way to talk to convince Victor. She says he's doing the same as he did with Teddy's case and lost his entire life. He will not let happen to her what happened to Charlie and John. He will not risk doing what she wants. He knows that she is right. They have to move. He will take the gun and she will get across them just like Mickey had done. She wants him to go across the tunnel and he's not moving. He puts his hands in and takes the gun, shoots them and is left with the last one and more are coming, so they move back to the same place. He wants her to call others for help. He says Charlie didn't make it out there, he didn't, and shows her. He doesn't have much time left. She takes the radio and goes for Grace to get help. While bringing Charlie out of that building, he got infected by radiation. He had thought that John would be his legacy. He can't let this kid die. The undead are shot to death, all of them, and they are here. Howard gets down and calls them members of the resistance. 
He laughs, removes it, gets her aside, and takes her out and says he has found her. He didn't find her. Mr. Dory did. He takes it and gets out of here with all. At the roof, he is lecturing them both about who is loyal to this place. Both are loyal. He wants John to prove what he just said by throwing him off the roof. He had stopped trusting him after he had found that walkie. Mr. Dory confesses that he had kept it. He stops and laughs at this. He says such a thing can be done by a man who really is worried about. Now he has to throw him. Otherwise, he will call June or Grace up here. He has thrown many innocents down there as well, so throws him off down there. Victor says his scouts had found Howard's family dead and changed long ago, months ago. He didn't tell him to keep using him. His room is his now. Now they are partners and leave. He stays there and is sick in his room. Washes up, sees himself and gets to sit, sees that letter, his family photo and the bottle. Drinks it a lot, again and again. Keeps the photo down and takes it again. He's here with the baby. He has left it. He wants one as well and keeps her. He takes him and gives it. Cheers to their future. He can throw whatever he wants to. Turns the music on and sits. Increases it loud to keep their conversation inaudible to the outside. Both have their own ideas. He knows today Grace and June were involved. From now on, he will keep the baby away in his penthouse forever. He just has to take care of her not being stolen again. This baby will never love and respect him. He asks him to remind him what had happened to his son John. She, he will need counsel, he will ask for. He will not listen to him at all. He takes his gun and aims at him and makes him pass out. This place is not his legacy. This baby is. He goes for Morgan and asks him to stay where he's near the wall, and he's bringing her. Here he is, suited and armed to go through the outside army of undead. Wendell suggests using the smell of blood to distract the undead, but it's not safe for the baby. She kisses her and gets her to hide in his armor. He has made many mistakes in life. This time, he will not. It's not too late yet. He thanks her for reminding him of that, and she loves it and gets calm to music. Someone is waking up Victor. It's Wes, gives him water. Rangers are searching the tower and the tunnel is flooded. He says there is another way. Rangers are on the way. He's going through among them with the baby, calmed with music being sung by Grace and someone this song, Sunny Boy. They see them. He says he needs a new partner. Wes wanna be that. He asks him to bring the old antenna from storage. The undead are trying to get him. He's just moving across and Morgan is on the ledge, seeing him. They are almost here. They are on this side and are surrounded by them now and move along them. He is almost out and gets to him, gets her out to him. He can't go because he is bitten. He will stop them. Morgan will take care of her and thanks him while he moves into them and is being eaten by them. The antenna is set, takes the walkie and says he has won today. But he has people like June and Grace and if he steps inside the tower, he will kill them. And while other people, whoever is listening, he needs them to join him. When I'm old and gray, dear, promise you will not stray. Grace's song is going on in the background, and he is on his way back.